you're on the right step, okay? Don't give up because you got stuck on some difficult tenants, okay? Move past that, learn from the mistake and continue on and be a better investor. Good morning, everybody. So the subject today is there are two types of investor. One is the short term, that is to buy and flip and to resell right away. And the other investor is for long term, buy and hold for as long as possible and to rent out their property. So what do you think, which investor require property management knowledge the most? Do you think that is a short term investor where they buy and flip and they don't need property management at all? Well, let me get into that part. Short term investor, yes, if you are lucky, you buy a property and you got a vacant property, you just fix it up and sell it right away. Hey, you don't need property management. But thing doesn't always go the right way that you want. Sometime you got a property and there's a tenants in there or the previous landlords in there refuse to move or swat or any of that. So you kind of really need that property management knowledge as well. Man, this car doesn't let me turn out, excuse me. <laughs> All right, so you need property management to deal with the tenant for the short period of time. There's laws that protect the tenants. There's tenants, landlords, right, that you have to do it correctly or else you can't get them out or they can turn around and sue you for wrongfully evict them. So I'll be real careful with that. And if that happened, it will delay your investment path. Okay. That means it could drag out six months to a year or two years. Who knows? Because in my experience, when I do eviction, the longest that a case that drag out for my eviction is two and a half year. And what do you think two and a half year? That means the owner is struggling with that hard lending money or their interests um, that they, you know, that their money is tied into the property. So it's not good. That means basically your investment will get stuck right there and you need to be prepared, educate yourself about the tenant landlord's rights and how the management work okay you can't just jump in and start flipping like everybody else way hey, he's flipping he's making 50k 100k 300k um, in, in a short period of time with one flip yes that happened too that's you know but if you ran to one deal that stuck then basically is ruined all your investment okay so always be prepared and get yourself ready for that part okay now let's talk about the long-term investment you know you work hard you're not those flippers you work hard you save money and you try to buy another rental property and you plan to keep that for a long term for as long as you can maybe even when you pass away you, you can pass the property back to your inheritance your children's or, or, or whoever you want to pass it down to okay but you need to rent it out for long term so that way the tenants can help you pay for that mortgage that rent so that you use that rent to pay for that more mortgage and to sustain your rentals and for anything need to be prepared you have that extra income right there saved aside and you wait it out for the real estate market to to double to or to triple or whatever but that's long-term investment some people they lucky you know they bought 10 15 20 100 property and nothing ever happened to them right and some people they just bought their first property and they already got problem already they rent it out the tenant is is not paying rent is destroying the property they you know it's just spooked them out and then they sold the property after they got the tenant out they nope i will never you know buy a rental to rent anymore hey those are those you know it, it happened too okay so for those investors but you have to think of the one that 
invest like you know like they 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 they, they, they got like 10 20 thousands of property and nothing happened to them because they know they learn the system they do it correctly and they overcome their fear because they know the ins and out of the property management how it works and how to resolve it okay there's nothing to be scared of any business you get into there's always a risk to it so in order to eliminate that risk or to lower that risk is you got to educate yourself through experience okay find someone or study you know sign up into a class or find someone that are already have that experience and use them as a mentor okay because you can't go either way both short-term or rent long-term investments they both have to do with tenant somehow okay so that's all I'm gonna tell you and uh, hopefully you are success and continue on your investment path because that is you're on the right step okay don't give up because you got stuck on some difficult tenants okay move past that learn from the mistake and continue on and be a better investor okay and I wish you luck and I'm here if you need help just give me a call DM me um, I'm glad to help and I had helped many investor um, and they, they all success okay none of them fail and you can do it too